going on today at the same time that we are hearing that investigators believe that she may have been killed at home. That's very disturbing. Now, her husband, Bob Bashara, is at the funeral. He is under a cloud of suspicion, and we saw him leaving his home this morning in Gross Point Park. Now, the funeral is taking place in Gross Point Farms, and 7 Action News reporter Malcolm Maddox is there right now. Malcolm, Jane's murder is probably still hard for a lot of people to come to terms with. How are they holding up there? Yeah, Alicia, good afternoon. There have been a steady stream of mourners heading inside Gross Point Memorial Church. I would venture to say that there may be hundreds, easily hundreds, who are on hand, and that only goes to illustrate just how beloved this woman was in her community. While that is taking place, new details are beginning to emerge and shed light on what her final moments may have been like, but also on her husband Bob's story. Now, we are hearing, sources tell 7 Action News, that Bob Bashara did, in fact, have contact with his wife, and that contradicts the story he initially told investigators. We're also hearing that he was having an affair and that the woman worked at Wayne State University. We're hearing that she told investigators that she, quote, dated Bob Bashara. Now, another detail that is beginning to emerge is what Jane Bashara's final moments may have been like. We're told that she had extensive bruising on her body. We're told that she had multiple broken fingers. That almost indicates a struggle. And when you figure in that she had on her slippers as she was found, they do believe that the murder occurred at her home. So police were investigating the home and they believe that the murderer had an accomplice. There are a lot of details that uh, le are left unanswered. They took cadaver dogs inside. They also removed several computers from the home. But as we continue to investigate this story and as we continue to follow it, there are more questions than answers at this point. And for the mourners inside this church, the biggest question is most likely why? Why did Jane Bashara have to die? And of course, police are working to find that out right now as we speak. But it's a very sad situation indeed. You brought up uh, Bob Bashar, and the, the interesting thing here is the fact we're you able to see him today. He is the center uh, point of this now, the focal piece, and if you did, were you able to uh, catch up with him, yell a question to him, anything of that nature? Yeah, we actually saw him as he left his residence. We tried to stop him and offer our condolences and also ask if he had just a moment for us to talk with him. He declined our interview request. He respectfully said, no, not today, sir. And he and a couple of young ladies drove off. I'm imagining that they came to the service because they were dressed for a funeral. But uh, again, very sad situation. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you new details as soon as they become available. But for now, that is the very latest from across the street from Gross Point Memorial Church. Malcolm Maddox, 7 Action News.